Hi, my name's Paul. This is Smart Home Sunday, and it looks a little bit different. It's the same hoodie, but uh, if you've been watching the renovation vlog, you would know that things are moving around a little bit. I normally was sitting over that part of the room, but you can still see the same lights I've uh, talked about. The thermo is on the back wall over there, that little blue glow dot. And look, the thing is, I'm right here, the computer's here, and here I am looking at the energy dashboard. Because that's what you told me you wanted me to look at next a couple of weeks ago. Thank you so much for the suggestions and the quick overview today of what I need to do as my first steps as I start to explore that energy dashboard in Home Assistant. And well, here it is, it's got its own tab in Home Assistant, in my Home Assistant Blue. And well, you go through these five steps and then you'll end up with blah, magical dashboard. Now the thing is, uh, consumption. Okay, I need a way to measure the consumption and the options are hook up a fan dangled device like this onto the power meter and that one's not an option for me. Then you also could read the pulsing light on the meter, also not an option for me. Then the last one is a CT clamp sensor. What is a CT clamp sensor? Well, it's a current transformer clamp, right? So it's a device you clip around the power cable and it measures how much current is going through the cable. It's pretty cool that you can actually do that. But yes, that's the magic of electricity. Um, now, the device that this uh, documentation on Home Assistant recommends is from a company called Shelly, Shelly EM. They suggest this particular device. And this one, well, this is okay for measuring two channels. Now here's the thing, as I start to think about what I want to track in my house, I have three phase power into the house. So to get the complete picture of what's going on with the consumption, the total consumption in the house, I'm going to need to measure three phases. Now luckily, Shelley make this little device, but of course it's more expensive and right now it seems to be sold out. So I'll have to go ahead and find some money after Christmas, that's kind of hard. So while I'm waiting for payday and waiting for these to come back into stock, what I am going to do, if we jump back to the Home Assistant dashboard, I'll skip the consumption part. I need to get to that later. Solar panels, nope, don't have them either. Home battery storage, hmm, that's an interesting idea I'd like to explore later on. Imagine a home battery that charges overnight from the grid, cheaper price, and then use it during the day. I don't know why I just discovered this now. I mean, there are lots of systems that you can actually do that with. Most people install a battery system with a solar. That's not, in, it's not possible in this property, but it would be possible to put a home battery in place that would charge during the night and use during the day. I have to figure out what the cost of that is. That would be something to definitely monitor in Home Assistant, but anyway. No battery storage right now. Gas consumption, no. What else? Uh, individual devices. So this is where I'm gonna need to start building my energy dashboard, focusing on the individual devices. So I have a few little smart plugs that I can bring into Home Assistant and as sensors and then include them. So I can start tracking individual machines like the washing machine, the dishwasher, the fridge. On the fridge, I am a little apprehensive about um, well, putting a device on the fridge socket that, well, a smart switch, you know, it can turn it on or off. Hmm. I don't want that to malfunction. So I'm trying to think about whether the best option might be to put also a current transformer clamp on that. Because, of course, if the clamp malfunctions, well, it doesn't matter. The power still keeps going to that device. So I have to think about that. I'm feeling a little bit cautious about any type of device that could malfunction. And imagine you're on holiday and your smart switch decides to turn the fridge off. And for whatever reason, you don't have an alarm set up to tell you that, oh, your fridge is turned off. And then if you're not home anyway, you're gonna call the neighbor and say, please go and turn my fridge on. So I wanna avoid that kind of situation. So just need to think about it. But there are lots of other devices that I'm quite happy to use 
any kind of monitoring plug. And I'll start with that. That's what I'm gonna start with. So there's a little bit of a snapshot of what I'm gonna do with the energy dashboard to start with. I mean, right now I don't have anything here to look at. You can go and check out the demo online that Home Assistant have. Gives you lots of pretty little pictures to look at. Uh, it's awesome. Look at this kind of thing. Here you go. You can see ooh, lots of pretty meters and stuff. But as said, for me, no gas, no solar, no selling back to the grid. So this is the kind of view that I'm going to have, different devices in the house, and then total consumption. But anyway, it's going to be interesting to check out and get started with this. So this is what I'm going to do. So next week, I'll definitely start playing with the smart plugs and start bringing them into Home Assistant to monitor different appliances around the house. And then when the finances allow and they're back in stock, I'll look at getting one of those three-phase Shelly 3EM meters. Now I got the name right. <laughs> hey, subscribe if you want to follow along as I try to build up the Home Assistant Energy Dashboard. And... I'll be back tomorrow. More stuff, techie stuff on Tuesday and Smart Home Sunday. Well, back next Sunday. Bye.